Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janera and today I'm going to be reviewing NYX's new dual ended cream blush stick as well as their dual ended face shaping stick. So if you're interested in seeing the application and review of these products then keep on watching. Alright, so I already started my face makeup off camera. I used two pumps of my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer. For my foundation, I used the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. For my concealer, I first used the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 14. And then on top, I used the Born This Way Concealer. This is the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And then I also used my setting powder from Laura Mercier. This is the shade Translucent Medium Deep. Alright, so next I want to get into this new NYX Wonder Stick. It does have two different shades. This bottom shade is supposed to be used to contour. And and the top shade is supposed to be used as a highlighter. So this Wonder Stick does retail for $14, and then it does say to apply the light shade to the high points of the face, and then apply the dark shade to the hollow points, and then blend for an effortlessly sculpted look. And then it also shows you on the box where to apply each shade, which is very helpful. I did pick up the shade Rich, so first I'm just gonna swatch both shades for you guys. So already, I think this contour shade will work really well, just because it looks very similar to the shades that I use currently for contour. And then next I'm going to swatch the highlighter shade. I don't know if you can see that well. So already, just looking at the swatches, I can already tell that the formula is super creamy. This will be my first time using a contour stick. Usually I only use the powder contours. So I'm interested to see how this contour stick will just blend out. So let's put this on. I'm gonna be using my IT Cosmetics brush number 227 to blend this out. Usually this angled brush works really well to blend out the powder contours, but we'll see today how it works with the contour stick. All right, so this is how the contour looks. Shade-wise, I think this is a pretty good shade for me to use to contour. The only thing I'm really not a fan of, though, is just how hard it is to blend it out. I don't know if that's just the thing with contour sticks, like they're just a lot harder to blend out than the powder contours. Like on this side, I really wanna blend this out a lot more. I don't know if I used too much of it. I did use two swipes. Maybe just one would have been fine. I do like how it looks on my forehead, though. I feel like it blended out pretty nicely. But yeah, let's move on to the bronzer. For bronzer, I'll be using my Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty. And then to blend this out, I'll be using my Morphe M530 brush. Next, I'll be moving on to the Dual Ended Cream Blush Stick from NYX. This cream blush stick also retails for $14, and I did get the shade Bright Amber and Fuchsia. The Bright Amber is this shade, and then this is the Fuchsia. And then it does say to apply the lighter shade to the high points of the cheeks and then the darker shade to the apples of the cheeks and the temples and then blend this out. And then again, I think it's super helpful that they show you a picture of it on the box where to apply each shade. So first I'm gonna apply the bright amber to the top and then I'll put the fuchsia underneath. I'm gonna put it on my hand first and then use my Fenty 110 brush to pick it up and then apply it to my face. But first, let me swatch this for you guys. So on top I swatched the bright amber shade and underneath is the fuchsia shade. I think they're both very pretty. All right, so let's start with the bright amber. This is what I put on my hand. Then I'm just gonna pick this up. All right, so let me add the fuchsia underneath.
All right, so just like the contour stick, I feel like this is super hard to blend out. I really didn't even use that much. Like I still have so much of it on my hands left. Also, I feel like you can't even really see the bright amber shade anymore. I probably would just use the fuchsia and just skip the bright amber. But yeah, I don't like how hard this is to blend out. I feel like I need to use my powder brush just to see if I can blend this out more. All right, so the powder brush I'm gonna try to use to blend this out is the Morphe E4. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I do like this a lot more now that it's diffused. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the other side. You know, I actually really like this bright amber shade on its own. I think without the fuchsia, it actually looks really nice. Maybe I just used too much of the fuchsia on this side, but I do really like this bright amber on its own. It's very pretty. And then now let's use this powder brush to diffuse this a little more. And then as you can see, I did use a lot less blush on this side of my face. I do like this side a lot more. I think I was a little heavy handed for this side. But lastly for face makeup, I'll be using the highlighter shade from this dual ended face shaping stick. And I still have the swatch of it right here. And to blend this out, I'll be using my Morphe M510 brush. This will be my first time using a highlighter stick. So let's see how this blends out. First gonna apply it to my nose. And again, this is a little harder to blend out. I can still see exactly where I first swiped it, but I'm just gonna keep blending and see what happens. All right, so I think this is as blended out as possible. I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my makeup. I'll do my eyebrows, eyeliner, and mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back, and the last thing I'm gonna add to complete this look is a This Is Milky Gloss by NYX. It did come as a gift when I purchased these Wonder Sticks. It also came with these products as well. This is the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, the Marshmallow Primer, and then a lip liner, but the lip liner is way too light, so I'm just gonna use a MAC lipstick, and then I'll put this lip gloss on top. So the lipstick that I'll be using today is the Viva Glam from MAC. This is what it looks like, and this is the swatch of this shade. I'm just gonna use a little bit of it under the lip gloss. This is the applicator for the lip gloss. Okay, that's really pretty. Has a very nice shine. All right, so this is the finished makeup look for today. I wanna get closer to show you the texture of the blush, contour, and highlighter stick. Overall, I really do like the finished look on this side of my face. I think I was a little heavy handed with the right side. I do like the shades though. I think it's very pretty. I just think I could use a lot less than I did. And I feel like that goes for the contour as well. Like I used two swipes on my cheek and then just one on my forehead and my chin. I think one swipe with all these products is enough. You don't really need to double swipe. But honestly for $14, I think that these cream sticks are very affordable and then you get a lot of color pigment with them as well. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. If you have any questions, about this new cream blush stick or the face shaping stick please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can also if you are new here welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next video bye